Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So I had promised you guys this video a few weeks ago, but and I filmed it weeks ago, but here it finally is. So we're gonna be making some glitter Christmas ornaments. I'm gonna be using the Memwax Polycrylic. It's like a protective finish type of um, finish and you can pick this up on the internet, at the hardware store, at Walmart. Don't know if they have it at Target, but I know they have it at Walmart. Um, and I'll leave a link below. And so, in true Monica Period 6 fashions, ran through the Dollar Tree and they had all the clear ornaments you could get. And then I also had this little four pack that I got on clearance last year at Michael's. Um, and so I'll leave links to those below. So I just want to show you guys the size of these. So like these things are like as big as my hands. I believe each one is somewhere between three and three and a half inches in size. And so I have pretty long hands, especially when you account for the length of my nails. So you can really tell just how big and wonderful these clear ornaments are. So I'm going to be using just a few different glitters. Um, I had these glitters kind of just like left over. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'll just use these ones and then I'll pick a few other ones. And so fun fact, I actually despise with all of my heart and soul glitter in bags. Um, they're just really hard to put in the bag. And once you dump it out, get it back in the bag. But neither here nor there but yeah I know some people don't mind it but yeah anyways and so that was true gold wonderland this is deep waters and then this is raven I tried to pick a good selection of like glitters that you know I don't use often and like more metallic glitters um and then I had picked so many palettes I'm like wait a minute I have to try out some hollow. So I went and grabbed Care Bear. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue. This ended up being my favorite one, full disclosure. And then I just mixed up a little bit of Lucky Charm and a little bit of Twizzler because I wanted to see how the Chunky would do. I wasn't sure how it was going to do. And so I didn't want to mix up a lot or just like do a bunch of different Chunky ones. Um, so yeah, and so I also picked up these squeeze bottles you can get on the craft aisle at your local Dollar Tree. I will say, if you live in Colorado, our Dollar Trees are super bomb. We have everything. Um, so yeah, and so I couldn't figure out how to get this in the bottle. So I just took a foam bowl that you can also get at the Dollar Tree, poured the polycrylic in there, then I just poured it in the bottle because all my funnels were down in my garage and I wasn't walking down there. So I'm going to talk you through what I did wrong on this one. And then for the next one, I'll talk you guys through how I did it right. And thank you so much for all the kind comments in my last video when I was talking about sometimes I get comments with people saying they don't want me to talk through it. So I appreciate all the love and support you guys showed me. I do see the comments. I just want you guys to know that. Um, and so on this one, I was I was very anxious and I was very excited. Um, and, th and shout out to my mom real quick. This was her idea and she made her own. Um, and I'll post a picture of them on my Instagram if you guys want to see. Um, and so I didn't, I kind of just, I squirted it in there and I put the lid back on, which by the time I got to the third one, I'm like, okay, I don't know why I keep putting the lid on. And so I, I didn't make sure that, um, the, the surface was evenly coated and I also didn't give it enough time to drip out, which caused me to have like unevenness on the inside of the bulb. And so, and I didn't check to make sure that the whole thing was covered. I thought I did, but I just didn't. And so I, I didn't let it drain long enough. So now there's like excess glitter in there and you'll see, not glitter, excess polycrylic in there. And you'll see when I turn it, like when I start turning it, you'll see where like, it's like sliding back and like thick, at, really thick at, um, and the end up, you like, you see how, like, you can see like the thick streaks right there in it. And so that kind of messed it up. And so in my mind, I'm like, just shake it and that'll help evenly <laughs> distribute the polycrylic and hopefully like get rid of some of that. And don't get me wrong, it did, but it also moved where the polycrylic was thin at. It completely like moved, removed it from where that was. And so then I had a spot where there was no glitter at all on inside the bulb. I ended up fixing that. You see it right there. I ended up fixing that by just covering it with vinyl. Um, so you can always do that, but yeah. All right, so 
let me show you and tell you how to do it better this time. So, and take your time with this. So, and I've, I kind of adopted the technique I use when I make glitter makeup jars. So you just kind of pour it in there and you very slowly just rotate the bulb around, making sure that as you're rotating it, it's getting over all of the surface and that it's even and that, like you said, like I said, everything is covered. And so that's the main thing. You don't need to shake it or anything like that. And so make sure you hold it upside down and it you let it drip until it's per, the dripping stops being like super consistent. And so now you see how the drips are getting less and they're getting slower. That's when you want to, you're like, okay, there's not that much access in there to move the glitter around from where it originally is. So now I'm cool to put the glitter in the bulb. And then I use the same method that I use for the polycrylic to make sure all the surfaces are coated with the glitter. So just taking my time and you guys, this is going at four times speed. So imagine this being four times slower than it actually, you're actually seeing it and just slowly rotating it around the bulb and getting all the surfaces covered. And look how that turned out. It's beautiful. And so, yeah, if these were coming together. I was getting more and more excited and I was like, God dang it. I wish I had more of these bulbs. I want to do one in every color. And I'm one of those people that I love like the colored um, Christmas lights, the ones that are like purple and blue and pink and whatever color they are, like those colored ones. And like my husband's like, he's like only likes the white ones. And so we're very different in that regard. Um, sorry, I'm making a bunch of noise. But yeah, so I'm one of those people like my Christmas tree does not have to match. It just has to have the things on it that are kind of like sentimental to me and bring me joy. Um, so yeah. And so I'm going to keep going through these, you guys, but I do have a question because I've been thinking about this. Are you a person who November 1st, it is your Christmas season. You're putting up your tree. You're all I want for Christmas is playing in the background. You got your eggnog and all those good things. Or are you like me? Whereas our family tradition is that we don't put up our Christmas tree until Black Friday. Um, so we try to get through what well, we do get through the Thanksgiving holiday. And then we kind of transition until our Christmas tree season. And of course, old Southern uh, superstition. We also have a thing where we have to take our Christmas tree down before New Year's Day. So um, we will spend New Year's Eve or the day before that making sure we take our Christmas tree down because we don't go into the new year with our Christmas tree up. So just let me know like what kind of you what you guys' tradition is or how you celebrate the holiday season. Um, and shout out to all my people that don't celebrate Christmas too. Shout out to all the people who celebrate Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. If you don't celebrate it all for whatever reason, that's cool too. Thank you for being here and enjoying. We all still love glitter and that's all that matters. We live in a glitter happy world. So yeah, I've been talking. I'll let you guys continue to watch me do these. And like I said, I finally got my technique down. And so I think I finally figured it out and I'll hop back in and show you guys what I did next.
All right, you guys, I'm back. Even though these look really good, like, by themselves, I decided to just put vinyl on them to just personalize them. I did record how I, you know, went to the Silhouette store and got some of these designs and, like, the monogram and stuff. But I always try to think about you guys this time. I know people are busy and have lives, and I don't want to hold you here all day with, like, a super long video. So if you guys want to see how um, I do these like the monograms and stuff and how I, I cut those, let me know. Um, definitely got to start figuring out how to post these and where to post these and what's most convenient. Also, let me know that in the comments because um, that'll help me kind of determine if I need to post it, if you guys want to see it or what you guys want me to do. And so, yeah, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and personalize all these um, little different bulbs and yeah, just make them special and cute and with fun little sayings and designs and things again that are meaningful to me so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk to you guys about using Mod Podge on these bulbs because I know someone is inevitably gonna ask me in the comments about Mod Podge and I got you covered All right, y'all, one more thing to customize the Christmas ornaments. And again, back in our favorite store, the Dollar Tree. And they had this ribbon. Um, it was super cute, super festive. And I'm just going to use these as, I don't know what's the right term. I know you have like an ornament hook. I don't know what you would call this. Uh, ornament loop, uh, hanging apparatus, whatever it is. This is how we're going to make sure they can hang on the tree. And so I guess these are functioning as our ornament hook, but we're using ribbon. And so pretty much I just made like a loop. I'm really terrible at this, but I try my best. And so like I make the loop, put my hand in it and then make a double knot at the top. If that makes any sense. Hopefully you guys can like tell what I'm, how I'm trying to explain it. And I make it tight like that. Like I said, but keeping like the loop, like the big open loop. So I don't, I can make sure I have enough space. And then I just clip off the ends and it's that simple. And that's all you got to do. And boom, bam, boom you are ready to hang these ornaments. And that's it, y'all. That's, that's, this is so easy that you can do this with your kids. You can do this with your friends. This is like a, a one hour, if that, craft. So much fun. Like I said, I really love doing these. My nephew called me and requested one just like this Merry and Bright one. So Carter has one of those coming. And so, yeah, you guys, those are how you do it with the polycrylic. But like I said, I got y'all covered on the Mod Podge. So just really quickly... Um, I knew someone was going to ask. And so I decided, I'm like, let me just do it 
instead of just coming in the comments and being like, I don't know how to do it with Mod Podge because I haven't done it with Mod Podge. I can't tell you. And so I'm like, well, I have all the supplies. Just do it. And so I put a little bit, just like a little touch of water in the Mod Podge to like loosen it up to try to get it a little more um, fluid. And so I'm doing the same thing that I did with my, with the other bulbs. And so in my mind, I've done this, I do this method all the time on glass. And so I'm like, okay, it's probably going to work the same way as it does when I'm doing it with glass, like no biggie. But you know, this is, we're only going to change one variable. This is a science experiment. Let's just see what happens. We could be completely wrong in our, in our hypothesis. Let's just see. And so the thing I did special on this one is I left it like that just hanging because I was trying to get it the coat as even and as thin as possible. Just whatever wanted to cling to the bulb, I was just going to leave it there. So I walked away for probably about 10 minutes, y'all, and I just let it hang out because I'm like, this is already really thick. You can see like you can't see through it. It's not like the polycrylic at all where like once you put the glitter in it like comes to life. Not the case. And so I'm like, okay, let me just give it the best chance of being awesome. I don't want to write it off because I didn't use Mod Podge for a reason because I kind of just researched and my gut was telling me like this wasn't going to be the best way to do it. Um, but I know you guys, sometimes you just want to use what you got at the house and I get that. Or you want to only have to stop at the Dollar Tree and get the supplies. I get that. Which they have all these things at the Dollar Tree. So I ain't mad at y'all and I'm going to mad at anybody asking the question and we're going to see how this goes. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Like this kind of looks how it looks when I do it on glass. Like, you know, it's a little cloudy, just giving me glue vibes. And once it dries though, it's going to be like popping. It's going to be brilliant. We're going to be good. And so that's how it looks. That's what we're working with. I went ahead and put the lid on and this is hours later. This is the next day and you can see it's still cloudy. I'm like, okay. Maybe I need to take the lid off. So I took the lid off to like get some air in there to see if it that like maybe it just wasn't dry. And that's just kind of how I ended up staying, to be honest with you. Um, like you can like you can see the hollow and everything. Like it's coming through very nicely, but it's like white and it's cloudy. And this is how it looks with the polycrylic. So you guys saw I, I did this one earlier. So you can see the difference between the two, and it's just the Mod Podge doesn't stand up to the polycrylic in my opinion. And you could say it was because I added that little touch of water. But honestly, it shouldn't have made it this bad and this cloudy. I think it was the Mod Podge mixed with the plastic. Um, so yeah. So that's all I got, you guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.